on YouTube and welcome to this edition of Take the Fair Out of the Gear with him, Jumbly Warner, and him, Jason Bangers. And on this episode we shall be reviewing the Grundig Stenaret SL. What a beautiful piece of kit, young Chumley. Oh, vintage awesomeness. Roll the titles. Oh, Tubes, if you're like me and my man Cy here, you'll love vintage equipment. It's your brand new tape recorder. It's far from brand new. I've had it for years, but it's beautiful. I love it. It's 1970s, circa. That means around about. Um, they were made 70s onwards, weren't they? Uh, I don't know who made in the 60s, were they? Late 60s. I, I were think, uh, well, we're not 100% sure, so I was looking on the iPad earlier, and I think they started making them sort of, 60s but obviously lots of different models well obviously there was a battle between reel to reel machines cassette machines and this is a little bit of the two really because what we have here um if you look inside there there is actually a cassette but this cassette is a it's like a i mean a cassette is just a reel to reel machine folks you know it's all it is really when you look at it isn't it i mean if you look at it go, yeah. it's just a real reel you know except not very uh it's not not as quite substantial as the big machines, but this is not much different. Now this would have been used, tubes, by your secretaries, but only very very important secretaries like a a, a general practitioner, a doctor's, a GP's secretary would have one of these. If you can hear that noise now, it's because I'm I'm in I'm out of stand. Sorry, I'm in standby mode. Listen. You see the red lights going off? Now this is all graded steel. And that is heavy, not mega heavy. But this is such a great bit of kit. I mean, you saw our little intro there. Let me just rewind this, look. I can do it by hand, look, and I'll play you back the intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, and welcome to this edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with him, Jumbly Warner, and... And if I want to edit it, I can just come in and so, just push, hold. Right, now let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, and welcome to this edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with him, Jumbly Warner, and <laughs> we shall be reviewing the Grundig as... So that is how we edited back in the day. You know, we used pause buttons, didn't we? You know, yeah. we didn't slice tapes, did we? Well, we've been there. Yeah, we, we might do a little thing on tape slicing. We, we may, but we, you know, when you got a precision instrument like this, which will allow you to pause right on the on the beat on the dot. Um, it did, I've got to tell you, man, I love tape. I don't know what it is about tape, but I mm. love it. I love it. Um, right, there's many things about this machine we're going to tell you about, but let me just show you one thing. It was made for ambidextrous people. Do you know what ambidextrous means? It means you can use both testicles. That's right, isn't it? Ambidextrous, both testicles. Ambidextrous means that so you can you can write with your left hand and you can write with your right hand. Oh, so you can throw a dart with a hand. Throw a dart with a hand. Yeah, you can play guitar that way round or that way round. Oh, I wish I was ambidextrous. I've always wanted to be able to play the guitar. But my point is this, tubes. Right? Okay, no mucking about here. Take that off. Watch this. Wriggle, 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 jiggle. Right, tubes, I promise you. There. Right, look at that. That pulls out. You put it in the other side. Is that over engineering? I think so. Is that superb engineering? 100%. Switch it back on. How about that? Well, come on, dude, you've got to give kudos for that, haven't you? You're alone. I mean, did they not think of everything back in the day? That's Good awesome. Grief. I'm, I'm going to pay homage to our friend Heinbach in Germany. And you can start from here, you can rewind from here, 30 seconds at a time, I think. Click, stop, rewind. <laughs> so, 
and you just stop start from from the handset you can do everything from here you can record from here you can overdub from here you can correct mistakes if you're dictating you can cut in where you've made a mistake it's just bloody useful bit of kit man the quality of this thing is unbelievable i think i got this off of uh, ebay for about 25 bucks um i might have to check but it wasn't no more than that i, I got this really cheap that is a prime example that is a beautiful example but sorry tell them about our friend heinbach and what he does with these yeah heinbach is the main man he's uh he loves using dictaphones so he he uses all kinds of dictaphones uh ones like this or ones with like the little micro cassettes or big cassettes so he makes up tape loops and just does soundscapes awesome and we tip our hat to the man because that's the sort of thing we've been doing all our lives We've been doing it since we were children, but we'd never put it out on Facebook or YouTube because we didn't think anyone would want to know. And there's our friend in Germany doing exactly what we've been doing since we were children. That is where the saying comes from. Two heads are better than one. Mm. Comes from a cassette player, a real, real player, anything that plays magnetic tape, which is a bit of plastic with some rusty old metal on it. That's all mm. it is. My goodness, you talk about a good workmanship on a guitar where they can get the wood real smooth to get rusty metal as smooth as what they do on these tapes. I don't know how they do it. Obviously, it's trapped between two layers. A fair bit it? of sanding going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it'd be nice to know how they make tape. But yeah, of course, what it is is magnetic. Obviously, as you know, you guys know. Um, and when you've got a master's tape, the last thing you want to do is put it on a speaker or anywhere near a magnet because you'll get some dropouts. You definitely don't want to put it in the microwave, do you? You don't want to put it in the microwave. No, no, I don't, no. Well, at least you want to blow the fucking thing up. Mm. Now, this was... Right, this is... Uh, it's got it's got things on it that I ain't got, right? If you look um, right there. That socket there. There is a socket there that goes straight into your telephone line so that you can actually record your telephone calls and dictate them so you can dictate over the phone to your machine or you can play your dictation from your machine down the phone to the receiver recipient how lucky they are um, and what else have we got in here so i'm just because in half heavy it's um well you've got 12 volts we can run off of a 12 volt battery which is nice and then there's a, a foot controller i think it's like it just shows um narrow which i think it's just control have you feel the way of that side i bet that's heavy oh blimey yeah good old german technology right. built like a tank yeah let me show you this <clears throat> okay it's just a cartridge oh my little doggy's whining at the door bless him all oh, right yeah this bit doesn't pop out unless you unscrew it out but it, it, it may be genuine bailey whining bless him it, may, it just feeds onto the take-up spool and there's your little bit where it clips in there. I don't know if you can see it very well from their tubes, but look, this is full of tape. and That's quarter-inch tape as well. It is, it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, so you, just, you can rip a cassette apart and load this up. That's the good thing about these. These, what do we call these, cartridges? Yeah, they're more like a cassette cartridge even, <clears> aren't they? They are, yeah. yeah. And they're quite hard to get hold of. Well, the beautiful thing about these is they're so forgiving that because it just spins around in there and it's really slack and nasty but you can just take a cassette apart a blank cassette and just load this thing up and it just splices and clips inside there there's nothing to it it's easy and then like with all cassette jobs they just do that there's a bit of slack there but that'll be taken up i haven't actually done this since i've owned it to be honest with you since i actually repaired it Take up the slack as you do, and she's ready to go. Look, that is my prized possession. That thing. Well, it's it's, it's nice, isn't it? Nice condition. It's Sounds a really awesome. Good example. Yeah, yeah. When we get 500 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. We got. We have a look. We got a video, and it's a nice guitar wah wah pedal. It's a slash guitar wah wah pedal. It's not brand new, but it's in good condition. I will send it to anywhere in the world. Once we've got 500 subscribers, we're going to write every single name down of all 500 of you. And then we're going to spin it around and we'll get one of our friends to pull a name out of the hat. And whoever's name that is shall be the winner. And the pedal will be sent to them. Cool. Whether they live in Russia, Australia, America, Colchester, Ipswich, Chelmsford, it doesn't matter. 
it will be sent to you free of charge. So like and subscribe. In the future, we're going to do a video on that. B for Bravo, V for Victor, H for Hotel. That's BVH. It's so. an awesome piece of kit. We'll set it up and do a video on that. But we will have to move the studio upstairs. Why, Simon? Because it is so heavy, we can't lift it. It's absolutely bedding <laughs> time. Eat to each other. So from this edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear is goodbye from him, Chumley Warner, and him, Jason Bangers. We'll see you on the flip side, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See you, Bye-bye.